The greatest moment at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium took place on April 8, 1974. Going into the 1973 season, Hank Aaron of the Atlanta Braves had marked his place as one of baseball's greatest hitters. In his first full season in 1955, he had over 327 home runs and over 100 runs batted in and made his first All-Star team, and the next year he would win his first batting title. But it was in 1957 when he would really break out. In what would be an MVP season, Aaron would challenge for the Triple Crown and end up leading the league in both home runs and RBIs, which included a home run that clinched the National League pennant. For the next 16 years, Hammer and Hank would continue to produce big numbers. By 1973, he had hit over 300 13 times, had 14 seasons of more than 30 homers, 11 of more than 100 RBIs, 4 home run titles, 4 RBI titles, led the league in runs scored 3 times, and doubles 4 times, and total bases 8 times, slugging 4 times, had over 3,000 hits, and won three gold gloves, and by the end of the season was zeroing in on Babe Ruth's all-time home run record of 714. During the season, Aaron himself was downplaying the chase, but baseball fans and the national media had grown excited as he was closing in on the record. By September, Aaron had 706 home runs, and that month he would catch fire hitting six long balls before the final weekend of the season, putting him just too shy of tying Ruth's record. On September 29th at home against the Houston Astros, Aaron would hit number 713 and had a chance to tie or break the record with one game remaining, but on the final day of the season he was unable to hit one out of the park. After the game, Aaron would state that his only fear was that he might not live to see the 1974 season. During the off season, he would receive death threats and a large amount of hate mail from people who did not want to see a colored man surpass the Babe's legendary home run mark. The threats extended to those providing positive press coverage of Aaron, and one editor was even scared that Aaron might be murdered. At the same time, however, the Hammer would also receive plenty of public support in response to the bigotry. Babe Ruth's widow, Claire Hodgson, even denounced the racism and stated that her husband would have enthusiastically cheered Aaron's attempt at the record. The Braves would open the 74 season against the Reds in Cincinnati. On opening day, Aaron would come to the plate in the first inning and homer to tie Ruth's mark. He would be held homerless for the remainder of the series. On April 8th, the Braves would return to Atlanta for their home opener against the Los Angeles Dodgers, and a crowd of 53,775 flocked to the ballpark to see if Aaron could make history. Aaron's first at-bat would come in the second inning, and with the crowd hoping to see number 715, Aaron would walk. His next at-bat would come in the fourth, with the Braves trailing 3-1 with a runner on. The crowd would come to their feet once again, hoping to see history, and Aaron would launch a fly ball on the left. Left fielder Bill Buckner chased after it all the way to the fence and reached over the wall to try and catch it, but it would land beyond his reach and Babe Ruth's hallowed record of 714 home runs had been broken. As Aaron circled the bases, cannons were fired in celebration, and two white college students ran onto the field and jogged alongside him. And when he touched the plate, he was baseball's new home run champion, and the game was stopped to celebrate his remarkable accomplishment. Hank Aaron would retire in 1976 and end his career with 755 home runs, which would stand until 2007 when the record was broken by Barry Bonds. Aaron would also finish his career as the all-time leader in total bases at 6,856, RBIs at 2,297, extra base hits at 1,477, and 17 consecutive seasons with 150 or more hits. He also held a career batting average of 305 with 3,771 career hits, 624 doubles, 98 triples, 240 stolen bases, 1,402 walks, 2,174 runs scored, and a 374 on base percentage. Aaron would be inducted into baseball's Hall of Fame in 1982. Then, in 1999, he would be honored with the Hank Aaron Award, which would be given annually to the best hitter 
in each league, and later in the year, he would even be named to Major League Baseball's All-Century team.